TED Talks have become a viral sensation. I'm here with one of the most popular TED speakers, Susan Cain, to talk about how she prepared for the big day. Susan, first of all, how did you get selected to speak for TED? Oh, gosh. Um, well, I sent TED, I, I was selected to speak for TED before my book came out. It came out about a month before the TED conference. But during the year before that, I sent TED information about my book, um, a tape of me speaking, just any information that I thought might be of interest to them. And I was really excited. They got right away what an important topic it was going to be. And so they invited me to speak, um, which of course prompted in me a grand mixture of excitement and terror. And how did you prepare for the big day? Well, um, part of it was just sitting down and writing my talk as well as I could. But I also I actually spent the week before the conference working one-on-one -on -one with a coach. And that process was incredibly Only a week helpful. Before? You know, it's funny that you say that because in my perfect world, it would have been way before that. But my book had come out, um, gosh, I don't know, let's say it was six weeks before or eight weeks before the conference. And so I was in this vortex of publicity at that time. I was just traveling around everywhere. So I couldn't even think about my TED Talk until a week before. So that was actually a little That's bit nerve wracking. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I had notes and I had, I had drafted a talk, but it wasn't really finished until a week before. Um, during that week, I was still editing it like crazy. I was making changes to it 24 hours before I gave the speech and then having to um, re-memorize the changes. So it was a little nerve wracking. Yeah, that's a lot of pressure. How did you psych yourself up in your self-described introvert? How did you psych yourself up to get on the stage? Um, well, there's sort of like the long term answer and the short term. So the long term answer is before TED, I had spent the previous year doing what I called my year of speaking dangerously, which was um, going out and practicing public speaking so that I could overcome what had been for me a lifelong fear of it. Um, and, and I had done that not just for TED, but because my book was coming out and I wanted to be able to go out and talk about it. In the very short term, you know, like right before I went on stage, I was really lucky. Um, my old high school friend, Bill Bragan, is the musical curator at TED, and he brings in these great musical acts. And he brought, he brought in a, a band called Red Barat uh, that played right before I went on. And they were so fantastic that it just kind of loosened me up and I felt like, okay, I could do this. And I don't know, if that band hadn't been on there, I think I would have been a lot more tense. And Bill Gates said that your talk was his favorite of all time. Is that a lot of pressure? Uh, no, because I didn't know it at the time. I, you know, I found that out months later. And um, of all the exciting things that happened in the wake of the book coming out and the TED Talk, I think Bill Gates saying that was, <laughs> for me, the best of all.